Well, the three most common things that come into my office are people that are worried about their turkey neck, which are these bands in their neck, or also worried about a double chin kind of appearance, or just this overall laxity of the skin and the areas of their neck. We have to deal with those bands that come down. So we make a little incision underneath the chin, and we, bring, we start with a whole new support sling that we give to that area. And then sometimes if they have a lot of extra skin, we take some of the skin away in hidden incisions around the ears as you see there. The incisions can be hit, hidden very, very well. Those fatty collections bother a lot of people and you'll see that they run in families and somebody won't be fat at all but they'll have this fatty collection underneath their, their neck and it just drives them crazy. And so what we do is we go in through a small incision and we take away the fat depending on whatever layer it's in. It can be just underneath the skin or the fat may be deeper underneath uh, layers of muscle and wherever it is we remove it and then contour the area to try to give a very beautiful natural appearing neck and chin area. After we have the neck contoured, we just put the skin down in a very natural way so it doesn't look tight or stretched or those things that you see in magazines or TV all the time. We want the neck to look very, very natural. So it's just an improved appearance so no one even notices their neck. They'll just think, oh, you look great. Were you on vacation? You know, and people won't even notice it so it'll be a non-issue anymore. You'd think it would be, but it actually doesn't turn out to be because the lipo can take away that precious fat that gives the neck a very soft, natural look. And it can be over liposuction, and I've had people come to me that even plastic surgeons that have come to me for surgery, that they've been over liposuctioned in the neck, and the skin is attached right down to the muscle, and it's a harsh, unattractive look. So it's really difficult once the neck has been liposuctioned to try to give back the softness. So the idea is to approach it the first time in a way that you don't liposuction, but rather just sculpt and contour down the neck in a sophisticated way that shapes it rather than just suctions it through a blind approach. By sculpting it, you usually do an open procedure where you can see the fat, see where it's excessive, find out if it's above the muscle, below the muscle, and just move, move that away, get rid of the extra tissue, but do it in a controlled way rather than just suctioning it out in a blind approach. Suctioning can sometimes be helpful, but oftentimes we see it to be more of a problem than a benefit. I think number one, you should ask if the person is a board certified plastic surgeon. That will at least narrow it down into someone who has really been highly trained. The other thing you would need to do is look at a lot of pictures, their before and after pictures, to see what their approach is, what their artistic visions are, and what their skill level is. The third thing is you want to make sure that you can connect with them and so they have listened to you and that they really understand what you're looking for because you don't want to have a stretched, unnatural look and you want to make sure that you're getting what you want. Thank you.